What's going on YouTube family? James Kearsley checking in with you for my very first workout commentary. Wish me luck. No, but seriously, just want to say thanks to all my subscribers for checking in on this video. And if you haven't already, click that button and become a subscriber today. Let's do this. Okay, so before I even began the workout, I get a very extensive warm-up going. You can see I'm actually wearing four layers on top because it was rather cold that day. Making sure I don't injure myself four weeks out of this competition, making sure everything's warmed up before we even begin. This next thing I want to show you is something I learnt off a Bradley Wilson video. He used to be an Olympic lifting athlete, and this is something that his coach taught him to do. It's kind of like a it's a warm-up for the whole posterior chain. So how you do it is you interlock your hands along your chest, stretch down to the ground until your hamstrings get a nice stretch, and then stand back up again, pushing up against up to the sky to stretch out and contract your upper back. So it's working the whole posterior chain, so it's the back, the glutes, the hams, and the rear delts and whatnot. So I do that before every single workout, and I get faster as the exercise goes on. So start slow, then go fast. Did some wide grip, or essentially a wide grip pull-ups, and then some pull-throughs or pull-overs to warm up the lats before I even began, obviously, took off my jumper then got a bit warmer up and you'll see throughout this clip that I've I just keep taking off my clothes so the first exercise we did was wide grip pull-ups but you will see in one of the clips that come up after this is that my hands aren't actually that far apart um, essentially there's about 10 centimeters before the bar actually finishes so the theory behind that is people say that the further apart you have your hands the more wider it's your lats but that's in, in essence the that's true however if you have your hands in a closer proximity then it actually gives you a much greater range of motion hence giving you a better contraction in the lats so that's one of the theories behind that next off we moved to some t-bar rows actually made the uh, sets quite heavy with their lower rep range of around eight per set I chucked in about six plates by the end of these sets, about four sets or so, but still keeping that form, even though the form is getting a bit jumpy by the end, a couple of reps, always pulling through the elbows and making sure I'm getting a nice mind muscle connection through my lats during the pulling. This will be the last set I think you'll see I did a triple drop set starting off with either five or six plates, dropping it, getting rid of one plate, starting again about ten more reps. Obviously it's sped up and then dropping it and then finishing off with another 10 reps. Obviously getting a nice pump through the lats at the moment. Then we moved over to <laughs> moved over to seated cable rows where you can see my mate over there, Jason, on the right hand corner. When I was editing this video I, saw, <laughs> I watched this and I couldn't stop laughing because he's staying there. This clip actually went for about 35 seconds and he stood there the whole time staring at me. <laughs> Nah, he's a good kid. He's like my little Padawan or my little apprentice. I'm teaching everything. Anyway, back onto the cable rows. We back it with any with any back movement. I'm always trying to emphasise pulling with my elbows instead of pulling with my hands or my uh, I guess upper arm or lower arm if it makes sense to make sure I've got much more back into it instead of um, bicep involvement and whatnot. So once again, you can see that I'm doing technically wide grip pull-ups however my hands aren't as wide as the handles go simply because it gives me a much better range of motion and then we moved on to a similar lat pull down machine but what I'm doing here I've actually got quite a wide grip as you can see I'm actually leaning forward and pulling with my traps you'll see my traps are getting much more involved with the movement right now because at this point in time we were transitioning off lats and onto traps and rear delts. Chucking rear delts on my pull days instead of having a separate shoulder day. This exercise here I actually learnt from um, Ben Pikulski. Basically it's a, just a trap exercise. What you do is you shrug your traps up and then lift the dumbbell up diagonally to the side with not much weight at all. It actually is quite a hard exercise. So I've only got about five or six kilogram dumbbells here for about 20 reps for about three to four sets 
And then we moved on to the last exercise, which was rear delt flies, I suppose, on this on this machine here. One thing I'm wanting to show you on here is this, um, another thing I learned off Ben Mikulski was the range of motion for the rear deltoid. You'll see with this machine, I'm not actually doing the full, I guess, contraction of the full back throughout the movement because even though it's a full range of motion for the exercise, like a rear delt fly and whatnot, the rear or the range of motion for a rear delt isn't like the entirety of that movement. So you'll see here, what I'll show you is, this is the range of motion for a rear delt, which is about probably like 80 degrees. And that's, if you do the full range of motion for the exercise, you'll see that's bringing in much more back and specifically lots more traps and whatnot. So I've been doing, I guess you'd say there'll be three quarter reps to um, put more stress on the rear delts. Cause you can see there's barely any trap activation there. And I believe I should do another rep or so showing off the traps instead. You can see as, as, it, as the machine goes further back, there's much more traps like that. Then just switched up the hand grip to push past failure a bit more and showing off some more rear delt there. Second last exercise, finishing off with the last exercise, which was just a couple of face pulls. Basically just another rear delt exercise, but it actually does get quite a bit of traps because you can see them contracting quite a bit there. I only did about two sets of these because we were pretty chuffed by then. And then finished off with some posing, just checking in on my conditioning on my back. Four weeks out of the competition. Practicing my posing about three or four times a week at the moment probably increase it a bit further as we become closer to the competition but just checking up on my back conditioning it's one of the things I'm most I guess satisfied or proud with at the moment running through some mandatory mandatory poses just to check and make sure all the details and whatnot has been coming in so guys that's actually going to be finishing off the episode in this last clip here I just want to say thanks so much for watching Please leave a like below and let me know what you want to see in the comments as well. If you haven't already, subscribe for more. Big things are coming. JamesKeasley.com dropping very soon. Thanks, guys. Peace.